What is going on you lot? This is Monish. You're watching Cine Shades and today I'll tell you how to recreate Peter McKinnon's time travel transition in film and film. Like this. So guys, last week I uploaded a video on speed ramping in which I recreated Peter McKinnon's time travel transition that he used in one of his vlogs. Since then I've been getting a lot of requests from some of you guys requesting me to make a tutorial on this effect. So today we will do this. Let's get into editing. So basically you have to shoot on a stable tripod for this effect to work. So essentially you have to shoot two footages in each location. So in location A you have to shoot yourself talking to the camera followed by an impact and taking the exact frame and shooting an empty frame without you and without any movement in the frame. Make sure the frame is exactly the same without you. So shoot a couple of seconds of the empty frame and in location B you have to shoot an empty frame and then you can shoot yourself starting with an impact followed by your content. Now in editing you have to take the footage from location A, cutting it at the center of the impact and placing it on the second video track. Now take the footage of the empty frame of the same location and cut it to 8 frames and place it underneath the last 3 frames of the second track. Now what you have to do is create keyframes on the first footage that is on the second track so that opacity gets from 100 to 0 in 3 frames. Now you have to take the empty footage from the location B and place it on the second track. Also here you have to cut it down to 8 frames. Now what you have to do is take the footage that is starting with the impact, take it to the timeline and place it on the first track underneath the last 3 frames of the empty footage. Now change the opacity of the empty footage of those 3 frames from 100 to 0. Now next step is very interesting. You see that black ink kind of effect when the transition happens. So what I need you to do is click on the link in the description and download a folder. That folder will have all the files that I will be mentioning. So all you have to do is importing that ink effect file above the transition in the third track. Now what you have to do is speed up this file to 600 to 900% that depends on the speed of the impact you are going for. You can play with the settings with this. And now you click on the file, go to effects panel and select blending modes and click on sub track. Also what you can do is you can create one more track of this inked effect and make it smaller so that there are double layers of this inked effect that makes it look more complicated. Now there you go you have that inked effect transition but one step is still left and that is the sound effect. Now in the folder that I have linked in the description that folder will include some sound effects that you have to use when this transition is happening. So you can play with these sound effects placing them when the transition is happening. Ramping effect. Let's head back to the studio. There you go, you have Peter McKinnon's time travel transition ready for you to use in your vlogs or your short films maybe. So hope you liked the video, hit that subscribe button if you like. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to hit on the bell icon so you will get notified every time I upload a video. And right now I am in a hurry because I have a flight to catch so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!